Okay, hello everybody. Yes, you are staring at another box. Uh, my last opening, I knew what was in it because it was stuff that Nico um, Selman had sent over to me. But however, today in the post, I received a package. And if ta okay, let me let you into a little secret. Um, I've had a few packages and I've done my video openings on, on them only to find out that it's stuff I had ordered. Um, but I don't recognise this one. Mind you, I didn't recognise the other ones either until I opened them and I'm really disappointed because it's stuff I've ordered off eBay or something like that. But anyway, here is another parcel to open. So either this one goes onto the cutting room floor, all they say, or it actually becomes an online video. So, a bit of excitement. Or maybe not because I've been disappointed so many times now. But anyway, let's get on and open a parcel that I have received this morning and see what's in it. And of course, someone who's heavy into um, duct tape or masking tape and it's making a right mess in my blade by leaving the glue on it. But let's see what's there. Okay, so keep opening and let's see what we get. Okay, and off we go. Oh, and there we are. Oh, 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 oh. I already, I already quite like what I've got because in here it says, "Hi Johnny." Enclosed is the Kosh Bushcraft peasant knife with a tribal bomb salt water etch. That's interesting. I don't know what that means. Anyway. It's obviously some form of etching. What a tribal bomb salt water etches, I don't know. Okay. The knife is designed to be practical and useful and is made from 1075 high carbon steel. Enjoy compliments of Kosh Bushcraft. Well, I like that. So now I'm intrigued to see what I've got. So, yes, Kosh Bushcraft. I will put a link up to their site. So, in fact, I think I know who it is. I was chatting online a little while ago. Someone left a comment on one of my previous videos and he said, come and check out, oh, come and check out my site. And so I did. I've got a tin. So hang on, I've got a tin. I have got, oh, a solar lighter. And oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, I want to stroke it. Look what I've got. Look at that. Brilliant, brilliant. I know what it is now. It's a knife. But who cares? It is beautifully tooled. Oh, and the smell. The smell is brilliant. Absolutely fantastic. So well made. Look at that. Stiff as a board. Let's take the knife out. Oh, that's nice. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Lovely. Okay. I don't know if you can see all that on it. What I'll do is I'll take photographs of it. So impressed. So impressed. Okay, so from what I can see here, I've got a dragon. I don't know what the others are. And if this is salt, I, now, when I read, let's see, he, high carbon steel, salt water etch. Now, this knife is etched. My Lansky knife is etched, but it's just a very thin sort of etching on it. I think they do that with the laser. But obviously, this is salt water etching of some kind, and it goes really deep. Blimey, it does. It cuts in deep into the actual metal itself. And please forgive me because I don't know much about knives. I have got a skull at the top and then I have got, I don't know, other symbols, other symbols on my knife, but brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Oh, superb piece of kit. Bring out my chopping board. So yeah, I have got myself a little, what is it, bushcraft peasant knife. I wonder if he thinks I'm a peasant. Anyway, I don't care. I don't care if he's giving his peasants some f stuff. Who cares? I am a peasant, actually. But 
let's just go and do it. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, superb. Just run, oh no, I was going to say just run my finger along that braid, but I can feel that as I flick that, that is absolutely razor sharp. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I suppose also being high carbon steel, you see that one is stainless steel, I think. Well, let's put it this way, it hasn't rusted yet, so I assume it's stainless steel, but this one isn't. This is high carbon steel, and I wonder if high carbon steel rusts, and how do I care for it? But to be honest, oh, it's lovely to hold. Absolutely nice. I, you see, some people do complain. I've had complaints in the past about using massive meat cleavers, but I happen to like the meat cleaver style. To hold, it, you just, you've got a grip of something, and this is just so lovely to hold it's it <laughs> listen to me i am chuffed to nuts over my little knife here and it's got nothing to do with knotty except for it's going to cut my cords but to be honest i love this knife already so much it's going to be featured in my future knot work and so there you go you've got it i've got the unboxing of a very very beautiful knife and now let's go back to the sheaf i wasn't that interested in the sheaf to start with because I like what's inside but the sheath as well is beautiful and it, it just feels nice it just feels so nice and when you put the knife in it just locks in place I mean no matter how much I shake that so I mean to be honest guys I would go over and check Kosh Bushcraft he's only just started out so be nice to the guy but check out his videos you know and I mean to be honest that knife there, I would buy that knife, definitely. For the purposes that I want, I would definitely buy that knife. It's just got a lovely, lovely blade on it. Absolute favorite. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful knife. Okay, let's get on and have a look at what else has been sent to me. Now, I've got two things here. One is a solar lighter, okay? Now, the thing is, I don't smoke, but I mean, they put a cigarette in a solar lighter. I'm sure it's used for other things. Or maybe not. Maybe you light the cigarette, which then lights your fire or something like that. Um, I don't know. Whoa, I've got a label to open up on. So not using Lansky, you're out of the way. Oh, and by the way, Spyderco. For ages, I've been asking for your knife to test it. I don't want it. I've got this baby. So Spyderco, forget it. You had your chance, it's gone. And then just pull that there and let's see what we've got inside. So, I'm sure some of you watching here who watch my regular videos will now be left cold because it's not on knotting. But hey, that's something that happens sometimes. But there we go. I have got, whoa, obviously a solar... Let's get that out of the way. I have got myself a solar, solar, solar lighter. So obviously, I'll have to read the instructions. Yeah, there's instructions on it as well on how to actually start a fire. So obviously, on good sunny days, you get your solar lighter. And basically, let's see if I can reflect it into the camera so you lot can't see anything. There, uh, it's getting there. Hang on. No, I can't do it. Okay. So obviously you put your, um, well, cigarette, but I doubt it's cigarette. You would have put some form of wadding in there or something like that and then allow the sun's rays to reflect off the parabolic mirror, possibly. It just rings a bell, parabolic mirror, and then it reflects up and will actually light your wadding or whatever in there. So yeah, absolutely fantastic. Love it. And oh, look, there's even a hook on it to hold back so that it folds away nice and neatly. Okay, next thing is, I like this already. I like Johnny Likes, Likes, Likes and Loves. I have got myself here, let's clear the decks a bit, but we'll keep that in play because we love, oh, do you know, I really do love that. And it smells as well, it smells. Hey, there's a jellyfish on it, it's navel. It's got a navel, oh, is it a jelly? Whoa, no, it's, a, it's when you hold it one way up, there's a jellyfish, but if you turn it up the other way, it's probably a meteorite with flames in. I'll call it the jellyfish, I like that. Okay, I have got here an enamel storage bowl. Okay, great. 
absolutely brilliant. I love it. I love it. I love I love things like this. And then so basically I've got a clasp there and a clasp there. So it's obviously watertight. And then I can just take the lid off and look at that. I've been sent a full survival kit. Outdoor solution expandable cloths. Outdoor solution. I don't know what that is, but somebody will know. Somebody who knows what, let's see, outdoor solutions, expandable cloths, tell me what it is. And then I've got in here, I've also got a, I know what these are. These are these um, blades that when you undo it, you can use it to saw down small branches and things like that. Yep, know exactly what that is. Brilliant. I've got a couple of clasps here, and in that, oh, is a blade of some sorts. So, in other, oh, it's a, no, it's a flint. Look at that. I can light a fire now. So, I've got a, obviously, that's a flint in there, and here I've got the tool you use for actually lighting or creating a spark. So, brilliant. So, that's that. So, I'll make something with this buckle. So, at some stage, I will put a paracord, a bit of paracord on this, and Oh, I just spat on the table. Too much spit. There you go. And it whistles. Oh, and my dog's coming in. Oh, and there's another fire light striker here. So this one's just on its own. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I love all these little gadgets. What else have I got in here? I've got a compass. And I can tell you that, I, that north is that way. Yeah, north's that way. Yeah, it's correct. Brilliant. And what's this? Whoa. I haven't got a clue what this is. It, it's, oh, it could be a knife. Is it a sharpening, sharpening stone for a knife or something? I don't know, it's rather coarse, but maybe it is for a knife. Who knows? Who knows? I'll have to investigate all this stuff. There's a torch, brilliant, an LED torch. Oh, and it works, look. Whoa, that's really upsetting your view of this. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And then there's another clip. Same again. And another. So three clips. And whoa. Hey, look at. Oh, and that's the bottom of the tin. But really nice tin. I must say, I do like that tin. But here, rather nifty. Am I doing it right? Who knows? There must be a way of getting it out. There is a knife in here. Out. I'm cutting myself already and it's supposed to be closed. Okay, there's a knife in there. Um, and somehow, there must be a way of locking it or something. Oh, there it is. Got it. So there's a knife. Folds away. Very, very thin knife. So in other words, it's a knife you could stick in your wallet, etc. That's sharp. Yeah, that is sharp. So I have got, I've got two knives into the bargain. Look at that. Well, wonderful, absolutely wonderful stuff. Love it, love it. That is good. Don't get me wrong, that is good. But that is absolutely brilliant. It feels soft, smooth. It, it really is a dream to hold, you know, absolutely wonderful. So let's look at the emblems again. I've got a skull, possibly a dragon there. Jellyfish, I'm going to say it's a jellyfish. Another dragon at the bottom there. And then on the other side, I have got another dragon, some form of demony mask, another jellyfish. We like our jellyfish. No, I do like a jellyfish. And another dragon there at the bottom. But having said that, I mean, to be honest, that blade is super sharp. Just, you can feel it wanting to rip my skin to shreds. But yeah, it's a lovely little, let's see. Just get that label again. Hi Johnny, enclosed is the Kosh Bushcraft Peasant Knife with a tribal bomb salt water etch. That's interesting. I've never heard of a salt water etch, but I'm sure I'm going to find out when I visit his channel just to see exactly what a salt water etch is. The knife is designed to be practical and useful and is made from 1075 high carbon steel. Enjoy with comp enjoy compliments from Kosh Bushcraft. I cannot, cannot tell you how much I enjoy this. 
I love presents like this. Out of the blue, when presents come through, I just absolutely love it. And this really is a beautiful, beautiful item. So yeah, and items, sorry, plural, plural. So I've got some, I think he knows I'm a little bit into bushcraft. I do lurk about on the bushcraft sites because I love some of the um, things that they do and tools, etc. And so, yeah, I'm sure this has been added to it as well. But basically, I mean, that knife, that knife is just a beautiful piece. I've never had a fixed blade knife like this before. And it's wonderful. I love it. This now is going to appear in all my videos um, whenever I'm doing a bit of cutting or something like that. Anybody complains that I'm using a massive meat cleaver, forget it. I'm not listening, all right? I'm going to use it because it's a beautiful, beautiful knife. And there will be links in... Okay, so let's, let's just step back a second, okay? If you're interested in this, I mean, I'm really interested in this knife, etc. If you're interested in bushcrafty stuff or you want a really nice knife, I will put a link in in the description below and at the end of this video um, to the guy's um, website or YouTube channel. And don't forget, he's only just starting out. So he's, I think he's still learning his craft and that. But to be honest, I think in some respects, he's mastered some of that craft. You know, so yeah, look out for him in the future. And to be honest, if he sells knives, I don't even know if he sells knives. I don't know if he sells them. I really don't know. So, I mean, you know, all you can do is visit his site and find out. And if he sells them, get one now, because when he's famous, you'll be paying a fortune for this. Um, the only thing I would say, okay, he's probably testing um, salt water etching or whatever it's called, is that maybe his logo should have been on there just so that um, everybody can see that when I use the knife. But he, he, you know, maybe modest guy, not fussed about it, I don't know. It's the only thing I would say. I would personally, if it was my knife as such, I would put a logo on there, but there's no logo, so I don't mind. I just love, I just personally just really love this knife. And let's see, bring it up to camera, so it's hard to see. But yeah, well, that's the best parcel I've opened in a few weeks now. Absolutely fantastic. So anyway, Kosh Bushcraft, thank you very much for my peasant knife. I love it. Absolutely love it. And so here we go. Video will be up shortly. It's not on knotting, but it's knotting related. And for you guys that like knives and things, visit this guy. Okay, so once again, thanks very much for watching. Thumbs up, thumbs down, but tell me why, okay? I know it's not on knotting, and you're gonna, all of you are gonna tell me that, but I don't care, okay? Thank you very much, Kosh Bushcraft. See you later, bye-bye.